Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Naki. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can start with bash scripting. How you can write a script. As a hacker or as a Linux administrator, you need to know how you can write script to automate things in your working environment, which will save you time. Okay, so to write a script, we need a shell that will help us perform this. So in your Linux machine, you can open your terminal. Yeah. So let me wait. Okay, so to check the type of share you are using, you can use which share to check this. I have a video on this, you can also go and watch it. I will leave the link in the description below. So which share. Yeah. As we can see, we are using a bash share. So this interface that we see is the share interface that help with the user communicate with the operating system. This interface enables us to manipulate files and run commands, programs, and other things. So within this share, you can use it to perform different powerful commands and other things. This is the interface that we are going to use to run our bash script. So to do that, we have to get a test editor that we can use to run the script. The script is a series of commands that can, that has been combined together to automate things so instead of we typing the commands one by one we join them together for it to run automatically without we touching it this will save us time to do other jobs or to perform other functions knowing how to write a script is very very necessary as a linux administrator or as a hacker so we can see the share that we are using right now is a bash share using the page command we know that to write a script, we use a command called echo to do this. We have other commands that we can use, but as a beginner, you have to be familiar with how we use the echo. So we can see echo. Always remember to put your message in double quotes. So let's say hello world. Boom. So this make the computer print what we want it to print. So whatever we want the computer to do, it will return that back to us using the echo command. So just just a script that we have like using touch. Let's say you want to create a file. Let's say touch new file dot txt. This is a script using the the touch command. is a script that's built in on the Linux distribution so anytime we use that it means you want to create a new file with the name that we have given to it the same thing happens to the echo we use the echo to print out what we want the pc to print out all right to create our new file we open a test editor so i want to use nano for this so let me clear the screen so nano nano is a test editor you can use leafpad v vim and other ones nano then we specify the name of the file so our first file, our first bash file. So let's call it my first bash dot sh. Yeah. So this is the editor interface. This is like Notepad and other test editors. So we need to write our script here. Remember, we see that uh, a script is a series of commands that have been put together. So we need to write our script here. But before we do that, you first have to tell the computer that we want to use the bash interpreter to perform this hash sign followed by exclamation sign we call this shebang shebang we call this shebang it means we are telling the operating system that we want to use the bash interpreter for this our script then followed by our bin search bash remember this when we check which uh, this is what it gives us so our shebang is ready so we can now type our echo and we put our message here hello world yeah there is it so you can just save it to save this you hit or you press ctrl x to exit so ctrl x you try to say you want to save the buffer yes or no or you can hit ctrl o so file name right to here you can change the file name or you can leave it like that 
then we press enter we have saved our file we have write out our file then control x to exit now let's do ls yeah this is our file my first bash shell this is the file that we created right now when we run this script we have to get the hello world or the content inside inside the script all right so let's run it and see to run this we use the bash followed by the file name my first bash boom hello world this is what we told the script to do so from this small script we can build it up to get scary or bad script this is what hackers do starting from small then they move they push they add commands to get a scary bash script or a powerful bash script all right there's another way of running this script with this we use bash then followed by the name of the script you can also run it using run it straight using this dot forward forward slash then the name of the file my first bash dot sh let's see what will happen boom it said permission denied you don't have permission to do this i know this will happen because we don't have executable permission to run this file although we created it in on linux distributions any first file that you created you don't have permission to execute so you have to give yourself that execution permission that's that's x okay so to check the permissions this file half we can run ls dash l yeah so there's our file my first bash okay then there's the permissions you can see we don't have executable permission if you don't understand what permissions i have a video link in the description below go and watch my video on permissions file permissions okay so we only have read and write permission you can only read we can only add something to the file but we can't execute to execute we use a command called chmob chmob to make changes to change the file permissions chmob then we specify the permission we can either use the numbers or the letters the letters are the r for read write w and s for the you can also use the numbers so to get four permission for you you can use seven for the owner then five for groups and five for other users then we specify the file name my first bash yeah let's check ls dash l again yeah so as you can see we now have executable permissions you now have executable permission read write and execute okay so let's run the file again boom yeah we now have permission to do that we have permission to run the file so this is how a bash scripting works so we're done for creating your first bash script but let's add something to it let's make it more enjoyable so let's go back to our test editor nano yeah let's add other echoes okay so after this one read we can see let it wait for a while so we use sleep and give let's say three seconds then we echo again we have add different commands or different lines of script to this our file let's save it the same command and control o to save enter then control x all right we already have executable permission so let's run it straight Boom. hello world hi welcome to naki tech youtube channel please subscribe it said um all right so you can see there is a problem with our last line so let's go and check this let's go and fix the problem so let's nano back here again all right uh, let me do this we we'll have add a space between the echo and our open double quote so let's save it and see if this will solve the problem hello world hi welcome to nike tech youtube channel please subscribe thanks for joining yeah you can see sometimes a, sm a small mistake just a space will cause your code to misbehave yeah 
So that's it. This is our first script. Thanks for joining me today. Please subscribe and turn on the notification where there are more upcoming videos on bar scripts. Thank you. Bye bye.